Welcome back, everybody, to Battle Brother Season 3. I'm Serdum, and I'm excited to jump back into this. When we left off, we had finally purchased Walter, the very expensive cell sword, to see if he was worth all the money. And, because it's the beginning of the new X episode, we get to find out who gets his name. The drum roll, we find out it is Tadith 3. Uh, Tadith 3 is a nice guy, comments very often on the videos, says he's excited to come over every day and watch the next one. Which I absolutely love to hear. So I'm really excited that he was next on the list to get named. Um, so I hope that uh, that pleases you and makes you happy. And actually, I think it's the last person that I had actually requested a comment to be named. So if you want somebody to be named after you, uh, now's your time. Tell me. And you'll probably be the next up. However, we're at 12, so it could be a while before that happens. But maybe not. I could end up getting somebody killed this episode. That's very easy. Easily the case, looking at you, Elfiend. Looking at you, Vincetti. Uh, but hopefully not. Hopefully everything goes just swimmingly. Anyways, we left off here with a three skull mission. For... No, we must kill some criminals for a three skull. I thought, it was, I thought it was something completely different. And you want to pay us a decent amount of money. You want to pay us a really decent amount of money. I really wouldn't mind going off and doing that, especially for that much money. We did find two castles out to the east. I don't know how they compare to this place, though. The thing about this is, is that we can take our time. We can heal up a bit. There's a temple heal here. Melee defense really shouldn't matter a whole lot for you. Pierced side. Here's the leg muscle. Yeah, it really shouldn't make a big difference for me. In a four days. Oof. These are still lasting quite a bit, though. Potentially. I don't really want to pony up all the money for it. But let's do it a little bit. Hopefully they'll heal a bit faster. By the time we get out there, we'll be looking all right. So we need food. Or we will starve. Excuse me, there are a lot of uh, enemies, sorry, people in our club here. So I think that makes it all the more important to try to keep them fed. Here they get quite busy if you don't. There's a reason why I get uh, pretty hangry myself. Yeah, that is really out there. Let me double check. I think they're. No, you're not okay. I don't think you're not even healed up either. That should be taken care of by the time we get out there, though. It does seem a little more intense than the others. Let's take a quick peek around as we just kind of size up what's going on here. Oops, it did tell us what was there. Some marksmen, some raiders. It might be better for us just to kind of go at night. Ooh, I meant to build it. buy some throwing weapons for, uh, to death, but that didn't happen. Let's switch y'all I'm thinking about it. So, sizing this up... these in one day. Here by tomorrow. We can probably put you out there. Just what I'm going to do. But we might attack at night. Just because I'm willing to bet that their marksmen are probably more in number than ours. I don't want to get chopped down on the way out there. This is quite a bit amount of money, and we'll get a fair amount of loot out of it too. So if we pull this off, it could go very well for us. We'll do it probably right before dusk, unless I screw it up and attack at the wrong time. Oh, look at that. Did everybody just heal up? Oh man, they sure did. That really ticked correctly. Let's get in there and kick some ass. So I'm hoping for about 10, give or take 10 to 12 enemies. Let's see what we find here. 12, well... So it goes. Let's see what happens here. Surprised no one's poked their head out at, at us yet. So, see, I'm willing to bet they're. Oh god, I'm willing to bet they're not going to come to us. 
just this uh, suspicion I have. Hmm. It's one off on you. I want to get everyone else moved up first. Alright, to death. Big plans for you. I'm gonna throw a spear up. 23% chance. It's not that great, but screw it. Try it. Valent. Valent effort. It's not your fault. I had you come out here at night. It's got some distance between you. Alright. Right there, this guy's. Wow, oh, Jesus Christ. That guy's my number one priority. Just because I don't like his uh, war brand. Right? Okay, cool. They're really, really taking shots at either Mung here or Masuyaku. And knowing Masuyaku's Masi luck, it's, it's probably him. Because everyone wants to kill him for some reason. 29% chance is not something I will look away at. I only have something else, nothing else to be doing. And I've already declared my hatred for you, so... Come to us, huh? Gonna consider it. Not opposed. Oh, fuck you, guy. Alright. Let's uh, shoot you in the face. Nope, okay. Nah, we'll shoot him in the face, though. God, he's blocking so much. He's not gonna keep it up forever. Keeping it up for now, though. I need to find a way to try to break them and get to their archers. Do something. Either kill one right off the bat and demoralize them like we did last time, but... These guys are raiders. They're not here to F around like the uh, last ones were. He's about the same. Take a good aim shot. There it is. Oh, he just jumped right in there. See, this, this bait there, they think that's a ranged unit, like an archer, I think, and they just cannot resist throwing themselves into it. Um, which is interesting to me, because it is you know, not the case. Okay, well, that was uh, underwhelming. Let's rotate you a bit down. Bash your skull in, because that sounds like a lot of fun. Switch you out with our crafty crafty quick hands. Right, selecting the right buttons here. See, and we gave Tadeth that uh, quick hand of bear doing, and we're not even using it. It's just a real screw up on my part. Good shots. Break them down nicely. Alright, Tadeth, show us your stuff. 72. Not be upset if you murder this guy. Uh, okay, that seemed to be going quite well. Quite well for you. Much better than that 46% we just saw from poor poor Masuke, who keeps getting crappy out of him. Nicely done. We're not going noticed by them, I'm sure. Flail ability yet. Which is unfortunate. Okay. So it kind of left him open. Archer's kind of standing out there in the open, too. Let's hold. So you get some crazy ideas over there about throwing axes. Yep. Kind of thought that might happen. Let's see what else they pulled off. Yeah, straight murdered ale friend. Oh, struck down. Struck him down again. Something tells me he's going to be missing a lot more than just an ear this time. However, I'm going to take a shot with you. He's too distraught about losing Elfine so early in this fight. So it goes. So it goes. Okay, great. Came in at night to try to... Jesus Christ. Well, that's not good for anybody. 
Shut down. Yep, just start working on everybody else there. Get him down. Thank you. Let's get this going. Let's get in here and start breaking these guys up. We really need to teach him a lesson. That headshot with that mace would have, I think, really done just that. So, I'm glad you missed it. They're all way too excited about what's going on here. Jesus Christ. Christ, the damage he just did to him. Kimmy, is this real life? Did that just freaking happen? Holy shit. Okay, well, that's great. Unbelievable to me how well that just went, actually. Let's get Fiasco a little bit closer just so we can take a shot. Don't want him that close to it, but... We need to start getting in here and getting things done. Everyone's in crap position. Uh, they still take a shot for the guy who's in a good position, though. Let's hold you for now. Ooh, wow, that's a good angle. Oh, uh, yeah, nine lives just kept you up. And. Oh. So on the fence about nine lives. to 50. Who was that? Poor Paul Misyaku. Did he die yet? Struck down. We got a lot of people struck down. But, you know, it could be worse. Put that shield up. You're in trouble. striking. Yes, murder him. Thank you. I would like you to put your shield up, but you're unable to, so just chill it for a second. What to do with you? Your initiative needs to get higher there, I think, kind of. like him to be here. So we can get a shot, and if we move him down here, he won't get a shot. Uh, but if I move this guy here, or move him here, he still gets one attack. And so this seems like the better choice. Plus, it scared him apparently. Fifty-eight percent either way. Oh, that's a much better chance. I feel like you're only gonna get one shot if I do that, though. Now well, you only get one shot either way, apparently. Hey, good work. So, we got some scared. I do like to see that. Let's, uh, let's move you down. Get an increased bonus on him. He's still going to flee and get attacked. He will no longer be taking shots at us. The only thing that really did negatively is open you up to him. Which I think we're just going to have to take that risk for now. Alright, Tedeth, murder him. That's a good start. Good start, solid attempt. you out. That is unfortunate. I need to switch weapons, though. Okay, that seems like a safer move, perhaps. You're, you're gonna run. You're gonna take a shot. You're gonna strike down people. More people. Tadith is fleeing. That's unfortunate. That's a big part of this plan. Big part of the plan. And we were actually not looking so hot in this fight so far. If you couldn't tell. If you're curious about how this was going. Um, it is not great. Vincetti just died. People fleeing, they got people fleeing. It's our guy trying to run, getting attacked. Putting some work on him at least. 
Another archer is still around. He's going to take a shot. Nope, he's running maybe. That would be nice. Oh, good. We broke him right before his turn. This guy is still going to kick some ass. Hmm, he seemed to have attacked the wrong target. I wonder if he's aware of that. Could, could smack it on him. Not on his head like I was hoping. Fiasco broke. That's never a good sign. Are you fucking kidding me? To death, this got killed. Now we're down to four people. If I run, we will only have four people. But it appears that I don't have the choice anymore. Yep, nine lives. Not making a difference there. Reach is dead. Holy crap, I did not think this was going to be the end of us. That is... That is for sure. I mean, there's no way I can take a uh, two or realistically one V7. But if I retreat, everyone that's been struck down, which is a fair amount of people, um, you know, they're dead, as well as all my equipment. Honestly, I don't think it really matters. I think I'm going to have to pull the plug on this campaign now. We did not get very far with this. this is quite unfortunate. Where are you at? I don't think I can retreat until he makes it to the line either. At least Fiasco will live, I guess. Good old Toby. Fiasco can't seem to find his way to the exit. Just figures, but... Terrible. I went south real quickly. Felt like we had a decent handle on that fight for a while there. Alright, we're just gonna retreat. Yeah, well, he won't make it there, so I don't know what to do. Oh, look at that mess. It's terrible. Terrible. It's death. Had, you look at that, had just joined. I wasn't even there long enough to get a real statistic. Oh, dude, is he hurting people, though? Well, that uh, really, really saddens me. That was supposed to be a big turnaround for us. I thought it was maybe ballsy to go there after a three skull, but it was an attack before it mission. nighttime so we wouldn't be getting pelted by them but once again nighttime does not seem to have much effect on them not to be all uh, salty about it but it really does seem to hurt us a lot more than it hurts them but I don't see a way I can recover from this on day 40 we don't have the money there won't be such a lack of quests that we can actually perform so I think I'm just going to end it here uh, this is still technically a game that was started in the beta cycle, so, you know, I think there's some advantages to starting a new one anyways. I just hate it, because things I thought things were going really well, and I did like this map a lot, but I guess that's the way it goes. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I probably won't do a season death recap, just because um, I feel like we lost as many people this time. Yeah, I mean, we did, but most of them, I think, were really kind of at the end left to die like yeah five of them were just left to die a couple of them like half of them were just that last battle so that being said i don't don't think i'm gonna commit the hours it would take to do it just to pretty much give you a review of the last battle but for goodness sake let's at least retire if i can find it i thought the retire button was up here no i'm making things up sure freaking am aren't i so let's retire see what happened uh, it does not appear like it went well with you no longer leading it the Death Eaters acquired a series of poor contracts well that's not surprising there's two people left that eventually led to it breaking apart the fact that people lived is amazing 
Fiasco was by far the quickest learner. Well, uh, yeah, he is. Little surprise then that he was also the one to, quickest to recognize the inevitable downfall and leave while he could still could. Had he been born in a different time, he would have gone on to do great things instead. Many wars, invasions, and plagues spreading across the land ultimately ensured Fiasco and many other talented men went to total waste. With the decline of the Death Eaters, readily obvious, Toby, the hunter, departed from the company and returned to the game hunting. Unfortunately, hunting a trip with a nobleman went array when the lord was gored to death, both <laughs> gored through by both cheeks with the boar. The hunter, feeling he had been blamed, shot by the nobleman and his guard. Oh. The hunter, feeling he would be blamed, shot by the nobleman and his guard and fled <laughs> and fled through the forest. Good for you, Toby. He got gored. You panicked. Murdered them. <laughs> and then disappeared. I love it. Now I shit. Uh, shit. No. Pff, shit. Now I sit in a sack. The crowd of strangers, homeless, blah, blah, blah. Things did not go well. Things did not go well. You were right about that, Battle Brothers. Oh, well. So it goes. Great start to this campaign, I felt like. And, you know, like I said, I was antsy after a couple episodes ago when we were really struggling to kind of stay along. Uh, but I promised greater things in Season 4. Starting off stronger, I think next time instead of spending the money right off the bat to equip and arm extra people and try to rush like 8-10 soldiers, I'm going to keep it low at first and try to save up for what will hopefully be a good, stronger pick in terms of a new recruit. Uh, less farmhands, more, you know, I don't want to say militia, but that's what's coming to mind, but stronger picks, stronger recruits. So we'll see you then. I hope you enjoyed Season 3. Sorry it was a little bit shorter than I wanted it to be, uh, as they usually are. But one of these days, I promise we will make it to late game. Till then, thanks for hanging out and enjoying games with me. We'll see you next time.